And it got so nerve wracking. I, I called him one time and he yelled at me. He was like, hey man, quit calling my phone. Like every time the <laughs> phone rings, I think, I think it's, you know, the Turk that's coming to cut me. <laughs> There's another guy that uh, I got a chance to know, but you have known him for so many years, and that's Terrell Davis. And I want to go yeah. back to when you guys were rookies together, because it's always a frustrating time and scary at the same time when cut day comes down. What was it like for you two when you guys were playing for the Broncos and cut day was right on the corner? That's funny, Nick. We talked about this uh, briefly um, the other day. You know, everybody, when you say the name Terrell Davis or TD in, in Denver or a, even in the NFL, they have this image of, of Terrell Davis, the Hall of Famer, the guy who put the Broncos on his back to win Super Bowl 32, uh, 2,000 yards, uh, and basically did that in 14 games. Um, but no one really remembers the sixth round, 196 pick of the draft. Terrell Davis, which I do because he was my roommate. Uh, and just going through that process, him being a sixth rounder, I'm being a seventh rounder. I remember Shannon Sharp told us one day, hey, they cut six and seventh rounders every day. And that really <laughs> opened up our eyes to like, wow, are we going to have a chance to make it? Uh, sitting there on cut day. And, uh, you know, we, like I said, we were roommates, but they put us in separate rooms. For cut day, because I, you know, no one wants to sit there while your roommate gets cut, and just the whole day, just wondering if we're gonna make it. And I'm picking up my phone, calling him every 15 minutes. Hey, man, are you still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. You, you still here? Yeah, we're still here. And it got so nerve wracking. I, I called him one time, and he yelled at me. He was like, "Hey, man, quit calling my phone!" Like every time the phone <laughs> rings. I think it, I think it's you know the Turk that's coming to cut. Yeah. Uh, and so you know we we sat there for hours and hours that day just agonizing about making the Broncos. And of course we both made it, and 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 as they say, the rest is history. But but just seeing Terrell be a nervous wreck, but then turning into the player he became was it was an amazing journey um, that I got to be a part of. Well, you know what, man? Uh, I know you and Terrell Davis are really connected and good friends, but I don't know, man. I would have had to pull your friendship card if you kept calling me the day that the Turk uh, was uh, lurking around. But Nick, he, he was calling me too. He's doing the same thing to me. We're doing it back and forth. <laughs> hey, man, you know, just worried about is my friend going to make it? Am I going to make it? And, uh, you know, it was it was probably the most nervous day of my life. Yeah.